Good afternoon. I'm Savita Sam Ibrahim, PhD scholar from IIT Madras, and I'm here to present a paper titled Fairness in Clustering with Multiple Sensitive Attributes. What is clustering? Clustering is the task of grouping a data set of objects such that objects in the same cluster are more similar to each other than those in other clusters. There are many applications for clustering, one being shortlisting candidates in a hiring scenario. Candidates are clustered based on their resume information and all candidates in the same cluster are assigned the same hiring decision. Usage of clustering to automate such tasks opens up possibilities of unfairness. For example, in the hiring scenario, Clusters created might not represent the larger pool's demographics. You could end up hiring only males or only females. Even if factors like gender are ignored, such information is implicitly held in other attributes. Consider a set of points given in the figure where all the blue points indicate male candidates and red points indicate female candidates. A naive clustering algorithm might create clusters as shown in figure which are clearly gender homogeneous clusters. But in a decision-making scenario like hiring, we would want to account for the plurality of a sensitive attribute like gender. This is the objective of fair clustering. And our objective specifically is to perform the task of fair clustering in the presence of multiple such sensitive attributes. We define a clustering to be fair on a pre-specified set of sensitive attributes. If the proportion of sensitive attribute groups in each cluster reflect that in the data set. For the same set of points, we might prefer a clustering as shown here. P3, P1 and P6 are in one cluster, P2, P4 and P5 in another cluster. The gender representation vector for the whole data set is 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2. That is the first element is a fractional representation of females in the data set. Second is a fractional representation of males in the data set. A similar vector for cluster C1 would be 1 by 3 comma 2 by 3. And for C2, it would be 2 by 3 comma 1 by 3. So this clustering is more fair with respect to gender distribution. But it should be noted that even though point P2 is closer to the centroid of cluster C1 than C2, it is assigned to the second cluster. Hence, there is a trade-off between cluster coherence and fairness. Next, I'll describe our approach. Fair KM or fair K means we are given a data set X where each point is represented using a set of task relevant attributes denoted as N and a set of sensitive attributes denoted as S. In the hiring scenario, task relevant attributes are attributes like number of years of experience, skills, etc. Whereas sensitive attributes would be attributes like race, religion, gender, country of origin, etc. The proposed objective function has two components. The first component takes care of cluster coherence and is similar to the usual k-means objective term, which tries to minimize the distance of every point from its cluster centroid, where the distance is measured based on task relevant attributes alone. The second term is the fairness term, which is expanded as shown. For every sensitive attribute capital S and for every possible value of that sensitive attribute denoted as lowercase s, we try to minimize the square of the difference between the fractional representation of s is equal to lowercase s objects in a cluster and fractional representation of s is equal to lowercase s objects in the whole data set. This is the deviation for the sensitive attribute and the deviation for sensitive attribute is normalized by the number of values it may take. The cluster level deviation is the sum of deviation of every sensitive attribute for that cluster. And this cluster level deviation is weighted by the square of its fractional cardinality in order to avoid favoring creation of very large clusters. The baselines used for comparison are S-Klein clustering denoted as K means of N which is nothing but the clustering done using task relevant attributes alone. This clustering is expected to generate the best quality clusters in terms of cluster coherence because no fairness conditions are considered. Hence, 
Arch pair clustering algorithm is not expected to beat S spline clustering in terms of cluster coherence, but we expect to beat it with respect to the fairness of the clusters generated. The second baseline is the work described in Clustering with Fairness Constraints of Flexible and Scalable Approach, published in the year 2019. This is again a modification of k-means clustering, but it is designed for scenarios involving a single multivalued sensitive attribute. This work is denoted as ZGYA hereafter. Evaluation, we need to evaluate two quantities. The first is the cluster quality measured using silhouette score, a higher value indicating well-separated clusters, the clustering objective itself, lower value indicating more coherent clusters. And the third is deviation from S-spline clustering. That is, if we are given two clusterings of similar fairness, the one that deviates lesser from S-spline clustering is considered to be more desirable as S-spline clustering is expected to generate the most coherent clusters. Now, this deviation from S-spline clustering is measured using centroid-based deviation or DEVC, which is uh, if a fair clustering algorithm generates a set of K centroids, similarly, S spline clustering generates another set of K centroids after clustering. The sum of pairwise dot products between centroid pairs is the first measure of deviation. The second is object pairwise deviation, denoted as DEVO. That is, if we consider a pair of objects, both may be assigned to the same cluster or different clusters by a clustering algorithm. The fraction of pairs for which Paired and S spline clustering disagrees in this same or different verdict is the measure of the deviation. Evaluating fairness. If clustering generates K clusters, for each sensitive attribute, we compute the deviation of the representation vector for the sensitive attribute for a cluster from its representation vector for the data set. Hence, average deviation for a sensitive attribute is the average of deviations across the clusters and maximum deviation for a sensitive attribute is the maximum of deviations across the clusters. This deviation is computed either using Euclidean distance or Wasserstein distance based on which we have the four metrics, average Euclidean, maximum Euclidean, average Wasserstein, maximum Wasserstein. Each of these metrics are reported for all the sensitive attributes. The data sets used are adult data set, which has a total of 30,000 instances, 13 attributes out of which five as shown here are considered as sensitive attributes and the remaining are task relevant attributes. The next is a smaller data set, which is a kinematics data set that has a total of 160 instances out of which five 160 instances and total of 105 attributes out of which five are sensitive attributes. We describe only the major results in this presentation. Uh, the experiment that we are describing is the one that compares fair came with ZGYA. That is, uh, this fair came is instantiated considering all the five sensitive attributes, hence it is denoted as fair came all. Since ZGYA is designed for a single sensitive attribute, we run ZGYA five times each time considering one of the five sensitive attributes. Hence, this is a synthetically favorable setting for ZGYA because fair KM focuses on creating clusters that is fair with respect to all the five sensitive attributes, whereas ZGYA focuses on fairness of one sensitive attribute at a time. We show the results on adult data set. Trends are similar for kinematics data set as well. Uh, comparing cluster quality, we can see that fair KM deviates lesser from the S-spline clustering compared to average ZGYA. Hence, they produce better quality clusters in terms of coherence. And with respect to fairness, we can see that fair KM clusters, uh, the deviation measures are much lower than ZGYA as you can see here. Concluding, we developed a fair clustering algorithm that outperformed the baseline ZGYA in both cluster quality and fairness. We study, next we would like to study the performance as we increase the number of sensitive attributes and number of values that the sensitive attribute may take. Plus, we would like to know how it performs with attributes with highly skewed distributions. Thank you.